And a um, similar incident happened, the next miracle actually, the, continuing with this miracle, and when he uh, relieved himself and when he was coming back um, of, of, uh, after relieving, he, he was walking towards Jabir, and he stopped in the middle before even reaching him. And he stopped and he looked on his right side and he looked on his left side. And Jabir ibn Abdullah was like wondering why is Rasulullah doing this. But anyways, Rasulullah reached Jabir and uh, he told Jabir, Oh Jabir, did you see the place where I was standing? He said, Yeah, yeah Rasulullah, I saw you were standing somewhere. And his Rasulullah said that now go quickly and you those two trees by the way, those two trees went back to their old positions. I forgot to tell that. So he went. Uh, he said, "Go back to those two trees and take a branch from each of them, and the place where I was standing, uh, put one on the right side and put the other one on the left side." So Jabir, he he, he was not really sure why, why he, Rasulullah is telling him to do that, but he obeyed the command of Rasulullah and then he went. It took a stone, broke it, chiseled it, and somehow made sharp and broke the branch. And then he went to the two trees, cut the branch of each of them, and then he did as what uh, Rasulullah told him to do, placed it on the right and left. And he told Rasulullah, Ya Rasulullah, I have done it. Then he asked out of curiosity, Why did you tell me to do that? What is the reason behind it? So Rasulullah he said, When I was coming back, I passed by the two graves, the place where I was standing, the right side and left side were two graves and the people, the occupants of that grave, they were being punished. They were being punished. So I wanted that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lighten the punishment through my intercession for some time. So he said that as long as, I made dua that, you know, as long as these uh, branches of tree remain alive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not punish them so he made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his dua got accepted and in fact in this this was a miracle in the sense the the, the punishment stopped for these two people and uh, it was only Rasulullah who knows this Jabir just has the news but we know for sure that these are the two people who were not being punished and you remember what the uh, what was why were the two people being punished it's a famous hadith right yeah. what was the first person's fault the hadith where you know Rasulullah Sallallahu said that the first person did not keep himself clean from urine you remember the hadith yeah. now that's the hadith and so he was passing urine, relieving himself, but the drops of urine fell on his body. So that's like a very serious thing in Islam. You have to keep your body pure. So if you're careless, you will be punished. These are the rules set by Islam. So second person, the other person, he was being punished because he was uh, a person who would spread tales among people. They would go to the first person and say that, you know, that other person said this about you. And go to the second person and then basically causing enmity between the two. You see these people sometimes, right? Just break the news, whether it's true or false, somehow create enmity. So this was the problem of the second person. So, uh, before we move on to the next miracle, I just want to clarify that we already covered this fact that this miracle we call it a miracle and this was specific to Rasulullah sallallahu this doesn't apply to us you can't just plant a tree and say this miracle will also happen to me and you know this grave will not be punished no that's a miracle and it was just for Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam you place uh, this branch of a tree you, you know it's not going to happen or Allahu alam because it was specific scholars said it was specific to Rasulullah sallallahu and it was only for that duration that these two people were not being are punished.